What is your, I'm, I'm opening up all these interviews with this question, you know, what is your message or your mission for this NADA show? Yeah, our mission for this show, as it is for what we come to work and do every day, is to help our dealers sell and service more cars mm -hmm. and do it as efficiently as they possibly can. Sounds pretty straightforward. Uh, I understand you announced a new product, a virtual assistant tool. Um, what's cool about that? Well, I think starting with the name, uh, we, we call it AVA, but the spelling is A-I-V-A. So it's Artificial Intelligence Virtual Assistant. Ah. And... Um, you know, we'll, we'll have that in all our products. Um, actually, dealers will be able to white label it to another name if they want. If they don't like Ava, they can call it something else for their dealer group. <laughs> but you know, there's there's obviously a lot of hype about AI and a lot of talk about AI. We've had AI in our products and machine learning in our products for a number of years, helping dealers um, you know, understand pr propensity to buy, uh, prospective services, add-ons, etc. But now with Ava. Um, we're taking this to a whole new level. And I think what a lot of people misunderstand about AI is that um, it's really about the data. You right. know, there's, there's, the, there's the tech, but it's really about the data. Mm -hmm. And I like to joke that AI without data is basically not artificial intelligence, it's just artificial. <laughs> and so, you know, nobody has the robust data that CDK has mm -hmm. as the system of record for 55% of the cars sold in North America, and the system of record for 53% of the repair orders in North America. Mm. Nobody has more rich data than us, and that's the capability we're bringing to our dealers with AVA to help them back to the core mission of selling and serving cars as efficiently as possible. Do you have any other uh, tech advances that you're showing or highlighting at this year's show? Yes, absolutely. We've, we've, uh, we've, uh, we're showing our uh, Intelligent Suite, which is a brand new product, which just came out um, a few weeks ago. We went into general availability. Um, this is a really uh, a hot product for us. We had a dealer uh, look at it this morning who liked it, basically said, send me the contracts, DocuSign them today. <laughs> um, and then he actually brought back four dealers to look at the product and telling them like you guys should buy this product too. So it's uh, it's really busy over there. We call it Intelligent Suite, a whole new cloud-based modern reporting tool, easy to use. We also have um, enhancements with our service scheduling and our <coughs> fixed ops products, and of course modern retail. Um, and then lastly, um, dealers are getting a lot of our dealers are getting really the first chance to see our dealership experience platform which we rolled out starting in uh, August. Mm -hmm. We now have uh, over 500 dealers um, uh, enabled for the dealership experience platform, and uh, dealers are coming in and, and uh, understanding uh, that platform as well. I'm sure being able to demonstrate that in person uh, in a venue like this is very effective. Uh, yeah, it's it's a great time you know, for dealers to come by. To, you know, it's not unusual for them to stop in for five or 10 minutes we're having a quick look at the dealership experience platform, which is really a new category of software for our space, really meant to help dealers uh, become more efficient. And then they are coming back, you know, as the day frees up and they have more time, they're coming back hmm. to have a deeper look. <laughs> Oh, and then they're there, and they're like, "Oh, look at this intelligent suite." Okay, I got, I don't, I got another meeting to go to, but I'll come back for that later. So it's great, you know. The, double dipping on. Yeah, the, look, the, it's what's great about Nada. You know, it's we're here, we're focused. The customers are here, they're focused, they're looking, and we get to see some old friends and faces, and it's a great way to connect. Yeah, you know, it's been out almost six months. Are you already starting to improve it? Oh yeah, well, we're working on uh, dealership experience platform DXP. We call it for short. Okay. Um, every day. And um, you know the nice thing for our dealers is we're uh, we're you know we're moving them to that uh, platform as part of their re renewal with no uh, installation fees for that. So it's a uh, you know it's a uh, it's our commitment to them, and uh, hmm. it's our new platform. And uh, you know the reception that we've had since we rolled it out in August has been uh, super positive. Cool. So, you know, what's your view on the industry? You know, I feel like we can, we're seeing more normal volumes, uh, but we're starting to see almost old style uh, inventories and uh, uh, incentives are creeping up, margins are getting squeezed. What's the what's the mood? What's the your sense of the true economics of the industry? Yeah, my, my short version um, is we're in a we're in the return to normalcy period, uh, yeah. right? Uh, you know, in, inventories are kind of back, you know, reasonably normal levels depending on model or make. Um, 
and um, incentives are coming back. And so we're kind of, it's a real time for dealers to get back to the basics. You know, uh, the dealers I talk to you know, expect profitability to, to be down in, in uh, 24, but still above 2019. Okay. And, you know, dealers have had a, a number of great years uh, for profitability. The balance sheets have never been stronger. Uh, but the, the environment is going to be tougher. Um, but look, these are dealers. They're, you know, classic entrepreneurs. They've been through downturns before. You know, 24 is not going to look like 08 or 09. <laughs> yep. uh, it, it, it'll, it'll be, uh, I think, a reasonably good year, better than better than 19. I mean, at the same time, you know, look, there's lots of risk out there, whether it's geopolitical risk, the economy. Right now, it feels like we're in kind of Goldilocks. You know, interest rates are still high. Inflation's coming down. Employment's staying strong. So that's all pretty good macroeconomic trends. But uh, I think, you know, we're all still a little bit risky. Uh, a little bit worried about the risk in the in the broader economy, and so that again, that's back to what I call return to normalcy. Dealers got to focus on the basics, how to how to sell and service cars as efficiently as they can. Yep. Uh, how about your business? Uh, I read in Automotive News that uh, you're back in uh, growth mode. What what does that look like for you? Yeah, so we're focused on growth at CDK. I mean, we're investing in our products, as I talked about, Intelligent Suite and the DXP and other enhanced. So we're really in a growth mode. Um, you know, we're, we've got, I think, 100 open positions in the company. So we're, we're looking for talented people. We're doing everything we can to retain the best people we have. And we're really investing um, in our products. And we're also investing in our internal systems to improve our customer experience, to make us more efficient internally. Um, and so we're, you know, we're, we're really in an invest and grow mode. I mean, unemployment is still really low. What kinds of areas are you trying to hire in and are you finding good candidates? Yeah, we, you know, I think what's, what's great about our company, we, you know, most of our people are working in a hybrid environment and that's very popular. And so we really, uh, when we look for talent, we can, we can get, you know, get the best, the best of the people, uh, whether they're in Canada or the U.S., and, um, and they can live where they want, um, you know, for most jobs. And so, um, so that's helping us. And, uh, look, we, we sit at the epicenter of, of automotive, right? We're 55% system of record for 55% of the, the vehicles, $540 billion of commerce on our systems. That's about 2.6% of the gross domestic product of the company. So we really matter to the auto industry. Mm -hmm. And so when we're attracting people from outside the industry, you know, they're, they're very attracted to come into our company because of the impact uh, you can have on the auto industry at, by being part of CDK. And then obviously people that are in the industry are attracted to CDK, again, because of the impact we have on the industry. Brian McDonald is the CEO of CDK Global. Thanks so much for joining me today. Thank you, Jamie. Always a pleasure.